Um, so therefore, I was just like, how can I know how to stand in this um, without feeling so lonely and um, feeling like, yeah, you know, and, like. And you say you feel lonely. Who is it that's feeling lonely? Who is the you that's feeling lonely? Nan Gucci, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hi, Jesse. Thank you so much for taking my call. Absolutely. Thanks for calling. Um, I have a question, sir. What is a friend? No such thing. Hmm. It's just a word that, and then you, 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 we've been taught, and then we put all these definitions around that word, and it gives a false idea about what to expect and how we should act and that kind of a thing. Hmm. Because I hear you sometimes referring to that you that you have friends. Right. Um, so I was thinking, like, yeah, because I find it very difficult at the moment, especially, as you said, you know, you will encounter this loneliness feeling and oh my god after your sunday service of past sunday like that that was some really deep stuff like i could feel that th this idea of you know you're being there already and everything is just amazing and it's going to be fluent and it's easy um it was shook to my core <laughs> you know i was like wow this is <laughs> I, you know, you got to stay present and yeah. 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 So it's now I'm, you know, of course in my circle, um, as I'm more in a observing role, uh, in an observing state of mind, um, all these ideas that I had about, yeah, your friends and also your family, yeah. you know, yeah. um, it's just, I'm like, if you give in a little bit too much, it always feels like they're trying to indoctrinate you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, so therefore, I was just like, how can I know how to stand in this um, without feeling so lonely and um, feeling like, yeah, you know, and, like. And you say you feel lonely. Who is it that's feeling lonely? Who is the you that's feeling lonely? Yeah, the scared little girl who, yeah, who experienced feeling abandoned at some point. You, um, you, hopefully you've heard me say there is no you that's feeling lonely. That's the same idea that you have when you say friend. You believe mm -hmm. that there's a you that's feeling lonely, but you don't feel anything. It's the fake identity that you have that's lonely. It's the spirit of evil. It's not you. Those are the things that must die. All ideas, the idea of friend, the idea of family, the ideas of this or that, must die, and that's what's dying mm -hmm. when you allow that to happen. And then when all ideas and plans die, you're going to deal with people in an amazing, perfectly way because inwardly you will have no ideas going on, and having no ideas, you have no requirements from the people. You're not looking to them to give you to make you feel good, make you sad, make you happy, make you scared, make you this. You're not looking well, for anyone to fulfill a void because you will be completed. So that lonely feeling that you have, stop identifying with it. It's the death of the ego. It's not you. Wow. Well. It's just that it try to convince you that it's you, and all your life you've been thinking that those emotions were you, and they never were, they never will be, they ain't going to be. It's not you. That's the darkness that must depart from your body. It's just an idea. It's not real. Wow. 
nice. And and you feel it in your body, but it's in the body. It's not in you. And if you don't hold on to it, just relax and just go about your day knowing that the feeling is there and don't use thoughts or people or places to uh, cover it up. You're going to be fine. It's not you. It's not real. And well, most people don't go past this. They, they, they go and they forgive mama. They go and forgive daddy. And that's where they stop. And intellectually, they stay there. And they, oh, I forgave, I forgave. But yet, their ego is alive and well. They have not, you know, Christ said we have once to die. They have not died from the ego. And that's what's happening. You have to let that happen. Relax and don't don't resent it. Don't complain about it. Meaning don't don't like, oh, poor me. I don't want to go through this. This is hard. Right. It's not Mm -hmm. you. It's the death of the ego, which is the spirit of the devil. Wow. Sir, that's very good. It's almost like, um, I mean, I'm a woman. I have never been to a battlefield. But it's almost like when a sergeant is, like, training its soldiers. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I feel that. That's how I feel in this process. And, um, yeah, your guidance is, is so... I'm really happy with it. It's nice to be able to call in or seek counseling or, you know, because it's so easy to, yeah, what you say, like, to, to give up and trying to hold on still to, you know, your group of friends or that life that you used to have with yeah. the same people. Yeah. And and it's funny because it's the same people that are the harshest. They, I mean, they're coming after me, you know, yes. like I really, Absolutely. they're really, and it's, it's uh, you, yeah, I, I have to, I feel just by doing it the way I'm doing it, I feel like I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm enduring it. Yes. So. But don't get angry. Just relax and let it die. And right. it's a battlefield. It's a war between good and evil. All right? 